Okay, have you guys ever been invited to like your best friend's place for like a birthday or just to hang out? And like, it gets to the day and you're so excited to go to their house for their birthday or to just to hang out with them. And you jump in the car and your, your mum hops in the car and you're like, mum, how far is it? How far until we get there? I can't wait, I can't wait. And your mum's like, oh, oh, hold on, let me just check. And she pulls out her phone and pulls up Google Maps or she opens up the GPS and she types in the location where you have to be. And she puts it in and it tells you, you know, you're this far away. And she tells you, you're like, oh yeah, I can't wait, can't wait. And for you to get to your best friend's house or to, for you to get to your best friend's birthday party, your mom or your dad had to use Google Maps or the GPS to get you closer to your best friend. See, that's kind of like us and God. See, through Google Maps and through the GPS, you know, your mum or your dad got you closer to your best friend. That's like us and God. See, God sent his son, his son Jesus, sorry, down for us to draw closer to him. See, through Jesus, we can draw closer to God. Through Jesus, we can draw closer to God. Man. That is a best friend move. Ooh. Best friend move. Through Jesus, we can draw closer to God. <sighs> okay, so have you ever played hide and seek with like your baby brother or your baby sister or like a baby cousin or like a toddler? I remember I have, I have a lot of times, okay? Some of my friends have kids now and you know, their kids, I used to play, I play hide and seek with them. And I remember one time I was, I was, I was the seeker. I'm always the seeker because, you know, they've got to hide. And I remember he was hiding in his room. And I walked into his room like, where are you? And I looked at the bed and you know how the bed normally is a bed, you know, pillow flat with the blankets on top. Obviously I walked in, I knew where he was exactly because I looked at the bed and it was pillow, human toddler shaped bump, then flat. Oh, he's under the bed sheet. But you know how you're playing with a toddler and you're like, oh, where are you? Are you behind the curtain? Oh, no. Are you in the toy box? Oh, no. Are you under the bed? No. And you go through trying to, trying to find the hider. But all along, you know where they are. See, that's kind of like us with God. See, God knows where we are all the time. God we are always in God's sight. He always sees and knows where we are. You know? Just like us when we're playing hide and seek with a toddler, we know where they are exactly. God knows where we are exactly all the time. And we never leave his sight. He's always got his eyes on us. And you know, we can never be hidden from God. Because God knows where we are and he always wants to be near us. God wants to be close to us. God wants to draw near to us. i got a Bible verse for you. It comes from Revelation 3.20 and it says this. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. See, God is always there. God knows where we are. Now, it may feel like sometimes you might be, oh, I'm so far away, or I'm really close to God, or somewhere in the middle. See, it doesn't matter. God knows where you are. And God wants to draw closer with you. God wants to draw closer to us. How cool is that? That he wants to draw closer to us. And he's always got his eye on us. Doesn't matter where you are. Okay, now you might be like, Zeron, that's really cool, but I feel really far away from God right now. I feel so far away that I could never draw closer to God. Let me tell you, you can. You can draw close. Doesn't matter how far away you feel you are or how close you are, you can draw close to God and He will draw close to you. It's kind of like walking up a mountain. If you've ever walked up a mountain or gone on a hike, you know, the goal is to get to the peak, to get to the top, to have a look at the beautiful view, right? And I remember one time I was climbing Mount Warning with, uh, at school with a bunch of my mates. We did it on like a, a, a HP excursion to Mount Warning, do a hike. I don't hike normally. 
Anyway, it's beside the point. But we were hiking. I remember a couple hours in, we were hiking. Got to about, I assume what was halfway. And I just felt like, oh man, I feel so far away from the top. I feel so far away to getting to the top to have a look at the beautiful view. I'm so far away. But you know, every step you take on the hike, every step, one step, two step, one step, two step, each step you take, you are getting closer to the top. That's, that's exactly like us with God. Each step you take to draw closer to God, you will ultimately draw closer to Him and He will draw closer to you. Two steps I've got that you can do daily so you can draw closer to God. Okay, ready? Step one, read His Word. See, when you read God's Word, you draw closer to Him. You get to know Him better. You get to know Him more. Because the word is God breathed. God breathed the word. He breathed life into it. Read his word. Step one. Another step. Step two, you could almost call it. The second step you can do daily to draw closer to God is to pray. Pray. That's it. Pretty simple, right? And look, prayer, all it is is just talking to God. Having a conversation with God. Tell him how your day was. Tell him how you were feeling. Tell him... What happened at school? That's all it is. Having a casual conversation with God. That's all prayer can be. It's all prayer has to be sometimes. It's just talking to God. And each time you take a step, you pray, you read his word. Each time you do that, you draw closer to God and he ultimately draws closer to you. Because through Jesus, we can draw closer to God. God wants to be close to you. Do you ever have that best friend? that person, your BFF, your best friend, that you can spend all day with them, doing whatever you do, doing all the crazy, epic, fun things you can think of, all day. And then at night, when you go, when you both go back home, you can probably spend even more time with them. You're like, oh, no, I can still play with my best mate. I can still play with my best friend because I'm not tired of them. I'm not sick of them. See, that's what God wants to be with us. God just wants to be your best friend. He wants to be your best friend. God just wants to be your best BFF, best friend forever. Mm. That's what God wants to be, your best friend. I mean, that's why he sent Jesus down to die for our sins on that cross so we can spend all eternity with him because he's never going to get tired of us. He's ne never going to get sick of us. He just wants to spend time with us. He wants to be our best friend forever, our BFFs. See, through Jesus, we can draw near to God. Because when we draw near to God, God draws near. Draw, God draws near. God draws near to us. And through Jesus, we can draw near to God. Oh, God wants to be our best friend. That is so cool. Oh, how cool is that? That when we draw near to God, God draws near to us. And that it doesn't matter where we are, whether we're close to Him or we feel like we're so far away from Him that he sees us and he knows where we are and we can never leave his sight and that he always wants to be with us. He wants to be our best friend. And he actually sent Jesus down so that we can spend more time with him. And through Jesus, we can draw near to God. Oh man, that's so cool. Hey, I'm gonna quickly pray for you guys. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you God that <laughs> when we draw near to you, God, that you draw near to us. And God, I thank you that you just want to be our best friend. And it doesn't matter where we are, whether we feel so far away from you or whether we feel close or wherever in between, that you know where we are and that you always see us, God, and that you always want to be close to us, God. And I thank you that you sent your son Jesus down so that we could draw and spend more time with you. And through Jesus, we can draw near to you, God. And I thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. That's so cool, right? God wants to be your best friend. He sent his son Jesus down so we could draw near to him. And it doesn't matter where you are. He sees you and he wants to be close with you. That is awesome. That's all I've got for you. But I'll see you next time. Bye.